dark alley of Los Angeles, aboard their brave Banana Bago. A new chapter is starting in the never-ending battle between good and evil. Uh, what you doing? Ah, Crocodac Boy. This is a robot I built. Impressive, eh? It's got an advanced artificial intelligence capable of understanding any written instructions. Its Pentium 5000 chip can process the most complex operations and resolve the hardest problems. What's it for? Well, you know I'm going on holiday and I need someone smart to replace me while I'm gone. <gasps> oh, cool. Okay, it's ready. Now for the programming. I simply give it an English dictionary and a grammar reference. Knowledge. And now for the godly instructions. Acknowledge. Quick, let's go out and give it a test. Roll banana man, there's a passerby. Begin indoctrination now. Excuse me, sir. Do you believe in God? Oh, uh, hi, uh. Well, uh, I was raised a Catholic, but not particularly a practicing one. Would you say you're a good person? I try to be. Did you ever tell a lie? Well, sometimes I tell a white lie just because it's... What do you call someone who tells a lie? Well, it depends. If it's for a good I'll reason... I'll give you a hint. It starts with an L and rhymes with fire. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A, a liar. Have you ever stolen something? Once I stole $20 from a friend when I was like 9 years old. What do you call someone who steals? <sighs> a thief. The Bible says anyone who looks at a woman with lust is guilty of adultery in his heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? I suppose I have, plenty of times. Have you ever used God's name in vain? I hate to admit it. So by your own admission, you are a lying, thieving, adulterous blasphemer. The Bible says you're going to hell. Suppose you were flying on a plane and knew you were going to crash and you had a parachute under your seat. Would you put on the parachute? Uh, yes, uh, uh, yes, I would do it. Jesus is that parachute. He died on the cross so you could be saved. He did this as a free gift. Repent and trust in him. Here's a pamphlet. We accept donations. Whoa, that was really cool. This guy can totally do your job in your place. Yes, lad. This super advanced machine can surmount any challenge and resolve any dilemma. I can go on holiday without worrying about a thing. Hasta la vista, guys! Bye-bye, Banana Man. Have fun. And don't worry about a thing. Goodbye, Master. Uh, Ro Banana Man, you are fully functional, aren't you? Of course. Hmm, how fully? In every way, of course. I'm programmed in multiple techniques and a broad variety of positions. Excuse me, I parked my spaceship on First Avenue. Where should I... Do you believe in God? Huh? Uh, no. Why? The Bible says only fools don't believe in God. Well, I'm not a fool and I don't believe in God. Einstein, one of the smartest men on this planet, was an atheist. What's your point? Bad input. Do you think you're a good person? Most of the time. 
Did you ever tell a lie? It depends on what you mean by li- What do you call someone who tells a lie? Well, it depends on the lie. There are white lies, approximations, mistakes. Those aren't made in a dishonest way, so they don't count. I never told a lie purposefully to hurt someone- Those count as lies. What do you call someone who lies? This is a loaded question and it's not right. All you want to do is make me call myself a liar. Well, it won't work. A liar is correct. Have you ever stolen something? No. Everybody steals something at one point or another, even something small. Not that I can remember ever. Nope, it's not my style. Bad input. The Bible says anyone who looked at a woman in lust is guilty of adultery in his heart. Wait a minute. That's called a thought crime and it's unfair. Nobody can control their subconscious thoughts. They're mostly instinct. We're all wired that way. This rule is immoral. Bad input. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Yes, plenty of times. So by your own admission, you're a lying, thieving, adulterous bastard. Wait a freaking second. With your loaded questions and weird logic, you're judging me and making me sound like a low-life scum, and at the same time pretend that I'm judging myself. Well, it won't work, pal. Screw you. The Bible says you're going to hell. Well, that's your number one mistake right there. You base yourself on a super old crappy book written by primitive and superstitious people. According to this book, even if I eat shrimp or work on a Sunday, I'll go to hell. It's all bullshit. Have you even read it completely? You should. It'll blow your mind. <laughs>